Hello, my name is Justin Harvey. I live at 103 South Osceola Ave, Orlando, Florida. Um, you know, I'm here to, today to also speak about the masks, just like a lot of people here, a lot of people that are outside, I'm sure, and hundreds more in our uh, Facebook groups that can't make it today because they have busy lives and children as well. But the bottom line is it's time to, like everyone has said, to end the mandate, and we're urging you to do it as fast as you possibly can. Um, it's, it's the United States of America. We have the right to choose. Our driving point home is medical freedom, medical choice, and forced medical procedures, forced medical devices have no place in a free society. So it's time to let the kids breathe, and it's time to listen to the parents, the constituents, and not listen to the CDC. Because at that point, that's all you have to fall back on now. There's no more state, there's no more county mandates, it's just the CDC. And guess what they are? For anyone that does not know, they're not a government body. The CDC is an organization that takes money from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the pharmaceutical industry. So I would like us all to remember if we're taking guidelines from the very people that have everything to gain and profit from this crisis that we are all in. So um, I would just uh, reassure that, that that is not who we should be taking our, um, our measures from. The other thing I want to bring up here today is that you know, I've spoken at a lot of different board meetings, and I've never seen anything like a shortened little 30-minute window where the public gets to speak. Orange, Seminole, Lake, uh, the OUC Water Board, it doesn't matter where I've spoke at, it goes for hours. The public has to be heard. You don't just cut them off at 30 minutes. And to top that off, this is not even included in the public record on your website for the video. I went to go look for it last time and couldn't find it. So no one gets to hear what these 10 people get to say? I mean, well, okay, the meeting's going to go into the night. We can't be here for five hours, right? Other boards do it. Maybe we need to have the meeting on two days of the week to let everyone be heard. I don't think that is fair. I mean, forgive me for making an assumption here, but it really looks like you're trying to stifle and silence the people's voices, shortening the time, not putting it on the website. It's really difficult to get here between the construction, the doors are locked, you have to buzz in, a table goes up out here in the room for 30 minutes. That's the only time you get to sign up. What if I wanted to sign up online? It is 2021 and I can't sign up to speak here online yet? There's a lot of problems with this public comment period and the fact that it's before the meeting even starts. And I really would like for you all to um, consider that and um, really think about the people that, that don't get to speak today. Because, I mean, yeah, we've heard from three or four different topics, but I'm sure there's 50 people in here right now that would like to say their piece on the mask mandate. And, you know, their children's face are covered, and now it feels like our faces are covered in here. So I just want to drive that point home. And I also just want to remind everyone that uh, all, all four vaccine makers have been convicted of fraud in excess of $30 billion, and that all of the makers are exempt from liability, meaning if you are hurt or killed by their product, you cannot sue. And um, the CDC has never done a study on the vaccinated or unvaccinated children and their health. Thank you very much.